Ladies and gentlemen, this YouTube channel vlog show is of authenticity, inspiration, and realness. It is also about personality, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lehman Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is your host of the show, Mr. Big Beefy E himself, the elder statesman of Rant and Rave, and Mr. Shenanigans himself, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977, episode 1081. And it'll be 67th edition of Martindale Monday. This is the final Martindale Monday until Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Martindale Monday before Christmas, I should say. It ain't the final Martindale Monday. But that's next week, the final Martindale Monday of the, not only the year, well, the month, but also the year, ladies and gentlemen. But right now, this is the Monday, Martindale Monday. Twas the Martindale Monday before Christmas and all through the house. Not a Christian who is stirring except for the dragon and wants to be a louse. <laughs> What's going on? I know a lot of people have been very concerned about me. And um, I know a lot of people, I don't know what, what, what went well, behind the scenes and all that. I want to thank everybody for su their support. I do appreciate it. And everybody say, I'm here for you and all that. I would say, um, thank you for being there for me. I'm, there, I'm here for you as well. You guys are good people out there. There's some awesome people, awesome dudes. I feel great. Let's get to it. You know, I said my piece on the on the video that I made yesterday, and um, you know, and it really did didn't make me feel good. You know, I could be easily angry and all that, but you know what? We're gonna have some fun here, okay? That's all we're all about. We'll I'll deal with it later tonight. Um, deal with things later tonight, and hopefully it'll get done. Well, I gotta get going because I wanna watch some watch some Bofus, some Bofa boys, and need those Bofa boys to cheer me up. Because it's been, yeah, it's been a, it's been a rough uh, 10, 11 days, 12 days, something like that. So, I'm here to kick the dragon's butt and chew bubble gum. And I'm all, all bubble gum, ladies and gentlemen, man. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I gotta change the dragon's die die, you know that, you know. So, anyways, so you know the drill, you know how to do it, you know what happens if I hit 250 and 100 in the first two calls, and all that good stuff. Let's get going here. Let's go, round one, here we go. Round one, we're starting off with number four. Let's go, tack, let's go number six. 250, it's fight number 8. 150, it's fight number 7. 100, okay. Uh, that's 500 bucks. Uh, let's go number 9. 400, ooh. Number 5, maybe? Ticket, sir! Good way to start. Good way to start. Good way to start. 1 nothing. I'll tell you one thing. The Martindale Monday before Christmas. We're down one week away before Christmas. Would you believe that? All right, stay away from the Sean Waltman row. One, two, three, kids like call. Number three held the mean monster, and two of the biggest amounts on the board are right there. Let's shuffle everything up around number two. Let's go. Now, okay, let's go for two for two. $100. Let's try number eight. 500 and 600. Let's go to number five in the middle. 150. Let's try number seven. Oh! And that is dragon time, ladies and gentlemen. That was the, that was the dragon. It's a Super Mario game, folks. One up. Let's find out where everything else was. Ah, tick and tack four and nine, unfortunately. I did not pick those numbers. All right, you know what happens to hit. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's shuffle everything up. Round number three. Let's try three. One hundred dollars. Seven. Tick. Let's try number nine. Four hundred bucks. Let's try number eight. Three hundred. Let's try number five. In the middle. Tack and I got it. Tack and I got it. It is Tack, and I got it, and it's two to one. One, two, four, six. Which number does a lot of tricks? It would be number six there, and if two and three hit, would be the MVG production shout-out combo, but I hit Tick and Tack, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Round number four. Let's see what four does. Tick, let's try number six. $500. Let's try number nine. 150 Let's try number five. With Tack, no 250 Let's try number... Oh, and the dragon hit me again. The dragon hit me again. It is round number four. It's a Chuck Woolery game. Two and two, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, you know, it's like you got a new board. Yes, I do have a new board. I've had to buy it. Uh, all right. Where was that tack? Ah, uh, number eight. Shoot. And there's the other numbers up, up there on the board. Other number money amounts. Okay, it's round number five. Let's try five. 300 bucks. Let's try seven again. 500 bucks. Let's try number nine. Oh, and the dragon got me. I try to go quick as I can, and, and I got 10 minutes till both is, but guess what? It's 3 to 2, a quarter of a way there. I needed $200. Where, where is that 250 That would have been great. 
Okay, 250 was behind number two, Tick and Tack, one and four. But, however, two and eight would have been the MVG production shout-out combo. Let's go to round number six. Round six, let's try six. Round six, Tick, let's try number nine. $100, let's try number four. Tack, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's three up, ladies and gentlemen, Super Mario World Moon Game. Let's go. One, two, three, five, seven, eight. It would be number two. And then Dolly Parton Connection would give me the MVG production shout out combo. Let's shuffle. Oh, okay, let's spin the information. That's a different game show. Bullseye. I played that Friday. Okay, we had round number seven. Lucky number. Let's find out. 150. Okay, let's go to number nine. 250. Let's try number eight. Tick. Let's try number four. El Cuatro. Oh, El Cuatro. El, El Mino. That's right. There is the dragon right there. In the center. Uh, in the center. Left center. Four to three. Seven's not a lucky number. Okay. Where was the tack? Dang Flabbit number two. All right. And like I said, if I hit one and nine, it would be the MVG production shot. Combo. I have not hit that combo amount yet. Let's do this thing. Uh, mm, number eight. Round eight. 500 bucks. Let's try seven again. All righty then. Eighth round, it's five to three. I'm down. Let's see if I can make that comeback trail. Let's uh, let's go. Okay, one and five. Tack and tick respectively. Two and four. MVG production shout out combo. I already chosen number nine. Looking good. All right. Speaking of nine, is round nine. Let's go nine. Three hundred dollars. Let's go for number five. Five hundred bucks. Let's try number eight. Tack. Let's try number four. Tick it. There you go. And five to four. Five to four after nine rounds. All right, once again, one through three, six and seven, which number was not heaven? And it would be numero uno, and three and seven would be the MVG production shot combo. Let's shuffle it up from round number ten. We'll be halfway there. Time to do some math, folks. Eight plus two is ten. Let's try two. Plus eight is ten. Five hundred bucks. Let's try four plus six. Four plus six is ten. Three hundred dollars, and that is good. And I tied it up. I tied it up at ten, ladies and gentlemen, and, and I tied it up at five. It's Super Mario three, three, uh, three star card game, five up. All right, I mean, I left the all the odd numbers out. Where was everything? Uh, number three tackles behind seven. One and nine would be the MVG production shot combo. You know what? Let's shuffle it up. Round eleven. Round eleven. Let's go. Nine plus two, nine. Plus two is eleven. Tick. Let's try seven plus four, seven. Plus four. Oh, that was the wrong number to pick. Wrong combination of numbers to pick. That means three and eight and five and six. I think I don't trust three. So five, six to five after 11 games. Let's go. Where was attack? Number one, numeral uno. Five and seven would be the MVG production shot combo. All the other numbers are good. Let's try round 12. Let's go. Three plus nine. Three plus nine. 400 bucks. Um, 4 plus 8. Let's try 8. Plus 4 as well. And I did it. I did it. Round 12. Round 12. We're back. 6 up, ladies and gentlemen. Now, 3 and 4 would have been the MVG production shot combo. But where's Tick, Tack, and the Drag? All right. Tick and, uh, tack and Tick, 5 and 6, respectively. Dragon was behind number 2. All right, round 13 is 13, 11. Lucky number, let's find out. Let's go 9 plus 4. 9 first, plus 4 is 13. Okay, let's go 6 plus 7. 6 first. Oh, don't need 6. And I got the lead back. I got the lead back by, uh, 7 to 6 after 13 rounds. Let's find out where the dragon was. Ah, uh, number 2 once again, and... One and nine, once again, MVG production shout-out combo, if that's the case. Let's shuffle everything up. Let's shuffle everything up, and we're at 14. Okay, let's go to Dolly Parton Connection. Nine to five. Nine plus two, five. Okay, uh, six plus eight, six. Oh, don't need it. Making that comeback trail. Eight to six, ladies and gentlemen. So what was behind number eight? Had nine out. Picked six first. Number, numeral uno. So two and eight would have been the MVG production shot combo. Three and seven. Tick and tack, respectively. Dragon was behind number one. Let's go to round number 15. All right. There's a couple of numbers added to 15. Eight and plus seven. Let's go eight. Plus seven is 15. 
All right, six plus nine. Six plus nine. Oh, and the dragon was behind number nine. That was not cool. So, kind of hoping. So, it is eight to seven, by the way. Where was the tick? Where was the lunatic? That would be number three. And I had to pick, if I had picked number one instead of, well, and eight first, it would have been the MVG production shout out combo. <laughs> Round 16 is this. We 16. There's two numbers up there to add up to 16. So nine first, nine plus seven, nine plus seven. Okay, very good. Um, let's uh, shuffle that up. Eight. Okay, uh, five, uh, four. Tick, let's go number six. That had to be attack. No! Now we're tied up at eight. I'm all laid up. <laughs> What's the matter? You're all laid up. Boop, 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 boop. No. Well, you're all bottled up. No, you're all canned up. Okay. Eight to six. All right, we'll go to round 17. What's the story here? Tackles behind two. Five and eight. What is the MVG production shout-out combo? But, however, here we go. We got round 18. No, it's round 17. Nine plus eight is 79. Plus eight is 17. Okay, let's go. Number seven. Give me a 500. Yes, I did. I got it. Nine to eight, folks. Nine to eight. Nine to eight. So that means I stayed away from the first, from the top two rows. One through six. Which numbers wouldn't give me a fix? Three and nine would be MVG production shout out combo. But however, two and four tick and tag respectively. Dragon was behind number six. Oh, yeah. Round 18. Let's go. Now, now it's anything goes in this case. Number seven. $300. Number five. 500 bucks. Let's go. Number eight. 100. Let's go. Number four. El Cuatro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. After 18 rounds, 10 to 8. All I need is one more round, and I defeated the dragon. I did pretty well, was it? Last time I did 15 and 5, which is not that bad. Uh, let's see. Where was the dragon? Ah, number 6, once again. Tack and tick, 1 and 9, respectively. And if I pick 2 and 8, first calls. With me, MVG production shout out combo. Let's go. Round number nine. Nineteen. I should round number nineteen. Uh, I'm crazy sometimes. Number four. Ten to nine. Ten to nine. After nineteen rounds. So this is it. One way or the other. Hello. Yep, my mom's home. <laughs> they were working today. Okay, tick and tack five and six, respectively. And 8 and 9 would have been the MVG production shot combo. Round 20. Here we go. Round 20. This is it. And let's go number 5. Number 250. Number. All right, Tack. Let's go number 9. Ah. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, that's horrible. It's 10 up. It'll be the first time we'll have a sudden death round, ladies and gentlemen. 1 through 4. 6 and 8. Where was the tick that would have gotten me the victory? That would be number Two and four and five would have given me the MVG production shot. Come on, all right, here we go. Twenty-first is the sudden death round. If whoever wins this wins the wins the day, day's game. Number four, tack. Let's go number six. Five hundred bucks. Let's go number seven. Yes, champion again. Champion again. Yes, sir. Repop. That's eleven to ten. Final score. Final score. All right, before we uh, end this end this shindig, where was the dragon? All right, uh, number two, five, and nine, the Dolly Parton connection uh, was the um, NVG production shout-out. I want to give a shout-out to Brandon Sonny Scruggs, Kevin Henry, uh, and the rest of the gang over at NVG Productions. I did not hit Tree Fitty today, but I'll tell you what. I'm very, very happy that I still support you guys and still be a. I mean, I'm still a part of your group, whether I appear there or not. You guys are always been with me in spirit. Cause a lot of people have been supporting me because of an or, a whole ordeal. So I want to thank everybody, and I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. It's the holidays. I can't. It's not the time for me to feel sad. All right. I've already said my piece. I've already handled my situation. So. Here we go. So thank you very much. Right now, Bofus is on. It's on at 5 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock. It's Bofus time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. And until next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. This concludes today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E. Do it for Bob Saget Productions. 
and in association with a Raven Bova Telepictures and Distribution. See you next time on another episode of the show. Goodbye for now.